Wales. What do you think about that? Greetings, it's Saturday morning, March 7th, 2015. Hail Mary, son. Hail Mary, God. <laughs> Welcome to Saturday Morning Cup, the only Catholic father-son show for your Saturday morning. Today's topic is Catholic benefits. What are the benefits to being Catholic? We could think of a lot of them. We listed seven. And today's saint is Saint David of Wales. We'll be talking about Saint David of Wales. And then later for our fun time, we're gonna do a little bit of show and tell. Our show and tell is gonna involve our Lincoln Logs. We're gonna show you our favorite Lincoln Log set. Believe it or not, there's more than one type of set. We have two different types. And we want to show them to you and just show you some of the ways we and play around with them. yesterday we watched Moses. Moses, yeah, we did watch that. Maybe we could talk about that if we get a little time. And our favorite Lincoln Logs are the... And we get the Lincoln Logs buildings from Dick Pernicky. <laughs> we got a lot of ideas from Dick Pernicky. We can include that when we talk about the Lincoln Logs set, can't we? So let's, without any further ado, let's get into the headlines. American Catholic reports that the Vatican has been on high alert since ISIS began posting threats about the Pope. Uh, more than just posting them, it's been uncovered even just in, uh, in certain investigations uh, that ISIS has been threatening and, and making plans uh, to not only attack the Vatican, but also to kill Pope Francis. Uh, Wall Street Journal, uh, Journal reported uh, a fight to keep Catholic schools uh, Catholic in San Francisco. This has been a long ongoing um, uh, event. It's been taking place in the Archdiocese of San Francisco, where Archbishop Corleone has been... Um, um, making uh, bold attempts and moves in order to keep the Catholic schools Catholic. Uh, we applaud that here and we'd like to just encourage you to support that. Church Militant TV has raised the topic as well and has posted links to where you can show your support. Your support. Just go on to the Church Militant website or the YouTube channel in the Vortex episode called San Francisco Earthquake, that clip, click onto it and there's a link to, will take you directly to a website where you can show your support. And actually it's, you can write a letter or you can email them, but we'd like to encourage you to do that. We believe fully that Catholic schools should be Catholic. It sounds very much from what we read that the Archbishop in San Francisco is doing just that. He's trying to keep those Catholic schools Catholic, raising the standard and keeping them according to church teaching, such as uh, um, the church's position on sodomy, contraceptive, and such. So that is it for our headlines. Let's move on to our topic of the week. <clears throat> Today's topic is benefits to being Catholic. Now, this is aside the general argument of who is the one true church? This is even kind of aside from uh, what springs from being uh, where the fullness of the faith resides, which is in the Catholic Church, because the Catholic Church is the Church of Jesus Christ and the only church, because Jesus only has one church and one body of people. Aside from all of that, what is a benefit to being Catholic? Kind of like a, a perk or something you experience something to be experienced or drawn from in being Catholic? This is the question. So what is the benefit? We listed seven, and we're gonna list them for you to right now. We could list more. There's a, you, you, I'm sure we could list 20, 30. Um, and I'm sure we'll, our list will, might be a little bit different from yours. 
which is fine. You can post your list in the comments below. But here's our list. Seven benefits to being Catholic. Number one, it's global. <laughs> it's everywhere. And so just about anywhere you go, pretty much in the world, you're going to find, even in a remnant of a few people, you're going to find the Catholic Church. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. <laughs> Nearly every city you go to. Now, now I know uh, in certain periods of time, uh, the church has um, had a vacuum on the account of persecution, but it's as if it can't stop the church from coming in. <laughs> so, it's global. Number two, history. It has a history that dates back to the beginning. Right back to Adam and Eve. We see the church beginning there with the first actual patriarch in Adam. And the first mother in Eve. In Eve, but they're not Adam. But they're not. Um, but, but they're not Adam and Eve anymore. God is Adam. Mary is Eve, and and the physic, <clears throat> physically Adam and Eve are not Adam and Eve in, anymore. Yet yeah, Jesus and Paul talks about this. Jesus is the new Adam. Mary is the new Eve. That's where we first see the first patriarch and mother. And but we see, see that. But you on. see, but, but you see, the first patriarch and mother, which is Adam and Eve, are mm -hmm. not that anymore. You see, but you see, Jesus is the new patriarch, and he's Eve, the new Adam. Yes. Yeah, and he and Eve is the new Eve. Mary is the new Eve. You're right. And then after uh, Adam and Eve, uh, we have uh, another type of church in Noah, and the ark it represents that type of church. Uh, then later we have Abraham, and uh, with Abraham we have Sarah, and then we have uh, Moses, and then we see the erection of the tabernacle, and, and so on and so forth. And then we have Solomon and his mother uh, Bathsheba, and uh, we, we can follow the church historically on up to today. That lineage and genealogy is very important. Number three, saints. A benefit to being Catholic is we have saints. And, and, and uh, that we could go through, uh, we could spend all day just on saints by itself. Number four, we have traditions. The church has traditions. And number five, beauty in art. The art of the church is just amazing. We have icons, we have uh, other great works as well. Number six, the beauty of music. Where else will you find uh, some of the great music of the, that we see in the church? The Benedictine chant and the music of, of uh, the classical era. And number seven, the moral elevation of the church. Um, we, we could go on about this one as well. But the defense of life, the defense of marriage... Uh, you're not going to find such a staunch defense anywhere else but with the Catholic Church. So those are our seven benefits of being Catholic. List your, your benefits and post them below. Let us know what you think. What are benefits? What are the things that you've seen in being Catholic? We could have gone on with the list and expanded it to 12, but we thought seven would be sufficient for an episode. So that is our topic for today. So, what do you think? Do you think we missed anything that's really important? What is the benefit that you've found in being Catholic? I think the benefit that I found is the great chanting, the great beauty, the great art, the, the great beauty in the churches, the great altar that stands by that's so beauty, the tabernacle is a beauty, the altar is a beauty, the, the, the inside of the church is just a beauty, but you see... They put it in a front altar, but that's not a beauty. But you see, <laughs> but you see behind the altar, you see the tabernacle and the great altar and the inside and the and in front of these and in front of that circle wall is all a beauty of purple. Oh yeah, it, it is beautiful when you see the uh, altar um, and and everything is that. So let's talk then about our saint of the week. Our favorite saint of the week Saint is Saint David 
of Wales. David of Wales. He is the patron of Wales. Let's go ahead and open up uh, the Encyclopedia of Saints. This is our Sunday Visitor Encyclopedia of Saints. And let's take a look at St. David of Wales. Can you move your hand, please? Thank you, sir. Um, St. David of Wales. Um, he uh, lived in the 6th century, uh, died 600. Uh, Welsh monastic founder and bishop. The son of a local ruler of South Wales, David became a priest, studying under St. Paulinus for several years. He attended the Synod of Brevi around 545, and there he was erect, uh, elected and primate of the church in the region. Um, he founded uh, many monasteries, and while on a pilgrimage to the Holy Land, he was consecrated consecrated uh, bishop by the Patriarch of Jerusalem. Returning to Wales, David re um, convoked the Synod of Victory that effectively ended the Pelagian heresy in the British Isles. And that was important. Um, one of the primary functions of a bishop and priest is to fight against heresy. He died in Maniva. David's cult uh, was approved by the Pope Callistus II. And when we use the word cult here, we're not talking about it in a negative term. We're talking about just a following. Uh, and um, his feast day is March the 1st. So St. David of Wales. I find that fascinating because my grandparents immigrated from Wales, um, came up through Canada, into Michigan, where I reside today. I was born and raised. So on my dad's side, we are 100% Wales, and that's part of the reason why we chose the saint for our saint of the week. So you have Welsh in you. Me? Yes. You have descendants that come directly from Wales, and we benefit from this saint directly. Then why do we speak English? Because <laughs> we were born in America. Now, let's get into our fun time. Our fun time, we're going to do a little bit of show and tell with our Lincoln Logs. We're going to show you um, both of our sets, and uh, we'll talk about that during that time. So let's roll that clip. Roll the clip. Hi, my name's Baruch. Today, we're going to build some Lincoln Logs. Here's the, here's the round ones. These are standard round ones. This is a splintering together of a Lincoln log set and a fun club wood building set. Let's open the box and see. We have the various lengths. We have the single, the single ones, the double ones, triple ones. And this is the Lincoln log one. You can see it's got the ridge. This allows them to come together without rolling. Versus the fun club one which doesn't have the ridge, it's completely round, likes to turn. Now, I like the Lincoln Logs better, you can see it's much tighter. Now, those are your standard logs. Now let's take a look, here's another set of logs we got, but they're more square. And you can see there's a lot more variety in sizes. Here's your singles. You've got doubles. You've got, it's more of a triple. You've got a lot of different sizes you can choose from. All of them are different sizes. And colors. And there's different colors. Now they're, they're not compatible with each other, but they're logs, they're log home sets, and they're a lot of fun. Yeah, they're both called logs, and they're and both logs. We will show you how to build them. How to build. We're both going to do some building. Let's set up the camera. Okay, let's build. I know, I've been...
this looks good. Wow, look at that. Okay, here we go. Hello guys, this is my cabin right here. Um, that's my dad's cabin. Here, let's go with your cabin first. What you got here? Well, I got windows. I got a door over here. Let's take a look. <laughs> and Hard I got a roof over there. And this is the roof. And if you can see in the peak of the roof, I don't know, but you can see the whole ground. Very nice. And here's my cabin. That's a window. And there's another window. And there's the door. And you can see the roof. They both look real nice. Very simple cabins, right? Yeah. All right. Well, goodbye. And that is one of our favorite thing to do is to build Lincoln Logs and we hope that encourages you um, fathers out there. Uh, just if you don't have a Lincoln Log set you should get one and build it with your kids because it's so much fun. It's one of my favorite things to do to build Lincoln Logs with my boy. Right? Yep. <laughs> okay. So that is it for our episode. Uh, let's go ahead and pray. You ready? Yeah. So. Oh, I forgot to draw a star. Oh, is that Mary? Yep. That's a nice picture of Mary. <laughs> That's Our Lady of Guadalupe. Our Lady of Guadalupe. Wonderful. Uh, can we talk about that right now? How about, um, let's talk about it in the after episode. What do you say? Yeah. Okay. It'll be an extra. Yeah. Can you put that down so we can pray? Okay. Okay. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness. According to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Lord, grant me the strength to greet the coming day in peace. Holy Mary. Pray for us. St. Joseph. Pray for us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. So, thank you for liking our videos and for subscribing to our channel. Uh, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, WordPress, and YouTube. Uh, make a comment below, tell us what you think, and um, that will be all. We'll like to have you there and we'd like to hear from you. So, until next time. Be good children of the church. God bless you.